Hey everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. Welcome to my channel. Today I have an open window box to share with you. I am calling it an open window box because it has an open window on it with the little sentiment on here, our little flowers and leaves and our little sentiment. You can do this box two ways. You can make this a shaker box. The window that you would put in here, the window sheet would be three and a half by three and a half, FYI, in case you wanna make it a shaker. I don't recommend popping up any of your little images or any of that because your little sequence and stuff will get trapped underneath and it just won't look good. Don't ask me how I know all that. Yeah, you can make this a shaker box if you like as well, but we're gonna make it just an open window box. I love this box. I actually did design this myself. Like, I don't know, It's it's been a long time. If you've gone through my videos, you've probably seen it in there, but it was time to redo this because I love this box, y'all. This is a great presentation box. You can open it, and this is not hard. I'm gonna show you how easy this box is. It's not hard to do at all. So it just opens like that. It's a pretty good size for any goodies or whatever you want a small gift. It's four by four and it is, I think it's two inches. Yeah, it's two inches tall. So yeah, it fits on just like that. You can't see on the inside. It just looks like a regular top. And so this is what I'm sharing today. I hope you enjoy this one. This one's a really good one. All right. So what we're gonna use for this is the Citrus Blooms um, bundle. I have my dies in here. I've decided to start keeping my dies, if I can, with my stamp sets lately. I, I misplace things. <laughs> I don't know what it is, so I'm keeping everything together. And in the past, I've had to look for um, different dies that go with sets, and so this is just a really good way to do it. On this one, it has two sheets so I decided just to keep it in this um, paper that it comes in but yeah it's got these a lot of dies in this one this will cut out all these pieces and I already took out the pieces I'm already going to use so this is what I'm using for this y'all don't forget by the end of June it's going to end Stampin' Up! is doing a special on it extra 10% on bundles that have dies. So stamp set and bundles are now gonna be 20% off until the end of June. Grab them while you can, because I'm telling you, that is a good deal. And then I'm using the Unbounded Love. This is another one that has the dies. But I got these envelopes to keep these dies on. It has a little slit here where you can stick this back in there. I've already um, taken the die out for this. So again, I'm using this same die. I love this die right here. And they're all so good, but that one is my favorite. So I'm using that one. I'm not using the sentiments, but you can definitely use the sentiments in here. I was thinking of using this happy birthday, but I went with the you're the best kind of person on that for a friend. So yeah, there's so many on here you can use. And then I'm just using the stylish shapes to cut out the window. I'm using the largest square. All right, so the things that you're going to use have here is the basic bottom sheet. This is old olive, and we're doing it at seven and seven eighths by seven and seven eighths. This top piece is six by six, and then oh no, this is the six by six. I left that piece behind. That is for the top of our box. And this piece is 4 and 6 eighth by 4 and 6 eighth. This is for the inside of the box. And then we are going to mat it. And you need four pieces that are 1 and 7 eighths by 3 and 3 quarters. And then one piece, 3 and 7 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. And this is for the inside of the box. You need some pieces to stamp on. And yeah, that's it. All right, first thing we're gonna do is stamp. I already cut out the leaves, and for the sentiment, I already cut that piece out. I cut out the leaves. And the little flowers right here that we're gonna use for the inside of the box. So those are all ready to go, and we're gonna stamp this. So I'm gonna use Versamark. I don't need my mat because these are rubber stamps. I'm going to use the same, you know what, let's do the happy birthday. This way I have one for a happy birthday <laughs> for um, 
if I need one for happy birthday. I'm always looking for something um, to make for a happy birthday, so I'm going to make it happy birthday this time. I'm going to use this big happy birthday. This one's in the Unbounded Love bundle. I will need my mat for this one. And I'll grab another clear block here. And we're going to still use the Versafine. Hopefully this is not too big for this. Oh no, it's going to fit in there just perfect. Now I'll have one for my friend and a happy birthday. Isn't that pretty? I love the writing on that. All right, we're going to set that one aside. I'm going to stamp some of the flowers, and we're going to color those. Those are these are super simple coloring. So I'm just stamping both of those at the same time. And y'all, I didn't need to use the mat for that. In fact, it works better without the mat on these rubber stamps. So I'm going to restamp that. There we go. It didn't make that much difference, but it's all right. So I'm just using Light and Dark Daffodil Delight and a little dark pumpkin pie for the center. I'm going to go with the light first. And we're just going to color. I'm just going to color these really quickly, y'all. It's just super quick and easy. I'm going to shade it a little bit with the dark. I need the other tip. These are too small for that brush tip. These are really, really fun. I love this bundle. It's so good. And then the center is going to be our dark pumpkin pie. And that's all we're going to do. Now when we get to the part where we cut the window out, I'll cut these little pieces out too. So I'm just going to cut these. And hopefully I'll remember to do that when we get to that point. Because <laughs> sometimes I forget that. Alright, we're going to make this box. By the way, this is the one that goes for the window. And this is a 3 inch square. So we're using that one. Now we're going to score all these pieces. And y'all, you're going to see how quick and easy these are to score and stuff. All right, so the largest one, that's the 7 and 7 eighths by 7 and 7 eighths. You're going to score at 2 inches on all four sides. I'm going to grab my, this will make it easier. Yes, much easier. Y'all, for those who don't know, this really helps your stylus to glide really easy, and it prevents you most of the time from going off track and it really really helps so then the six by six inch piece let me just go ahead and do those both the six by six you're going to do it at one inch on all four sides and there I go going off I figured I'd do that when I just told you it prevents, but you heard me say most of the time, right? Because I know myself very well. <laughs> and then on this one, it's just three eighths on each side, on all three sides, or four sides. Let's see if I can get this one right. Oh, nope, three, three eighths. All right, those are all ready to go. And I did show you the designer series paper. So that this is the Mediterranean Blooms. It goes with the Citrus Blooms. I love this paper. Y'all, I've been kind of hoarding, hoarding it. I'm stopping doing that. I'm going to start using all my paper <laughs> because then I have so much paper I don't know what to do with. I love this paper, though. It's so beautiful. All right, let's get going. I'm putting this together. So what we're going to do, this is the top, so you're just going to cut down on these. And 
And you're just going to cut these down to that first score mark. And then just take a little bit off. This is a really nice size box. I have used it for birthday gifts. And then There we go. That's the top. Now on the bottom I need my bigger ones. These just work better for me. We're cutting it the exact same way to that first score line. Just a tiny sliver off of the side there. other side is the same way. I hope you didn't hear my air conditioner just kicking on. Y'all, now summer has begun. <laughs> we are getting like, oh my gosh, so much heat now. We have like heat indexes in the hundreds already. All right, now on this really small one, you're just going to do the corners the same way. And do all four that we have here. The air conditioner has definitely be, been getting a workout here which is does it's only Texas heat here <laughs> that's that's how it is you know I'm a fall winter girl but you know you have to deal with the Texas heat it is not my favorite time of year though all right so now we are going to sharpen all these score marks on all of these Okay, y'all, we have all these pieces ready to go. Now let's adhere them together. I'm going to use my Stampin' Seal Plus for this. You want to use something strong. You can use wet glue. And we're just going to put these together like we do any other box. So we're going to just bring these up. Make sure these are really nice and square on a box like this. It's really important to have these lined up really good so that they fit into each other good. So there's our bottom. I told you this is a really easy box. I know every week y'all must just, I'm going to use wet glue for this one. It's too small. And we're going to do this one. You have to hold these a little bit because it's such a small area that you, you need to just hold those for a minute. Let's get this one done and then we're going to put our window in the top of the box. That's what this called. Can't forget the window. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, we're going to do that. Let's set these aside here for a minute. So on this one, this is the top of the box. You want to center your square in the center. Try to just eyeball it. You don't want to, you want to do this before you glue the sides together. So we are going to do that and I'll be right back with that. I'm going to run it through the cut and emboss. And then you have your window right there. Now make sure when you glue this that your um, stitching is on the top. So let's go ahead and add this adhesive. And this is where you want to put your window sheet in as well if you're going to make it a shaker box. And 
So there is our top right there. So this should fit on here just right. And then this piece we're going to mat. So let's get our glue. Okay, are you coming out here, glue? Y'all, yeah. if you get this glue gun, always remember at night to put the cap back on it because it does get pretty, um, it will get clogged up, uh, clogged up if you don't. All right, now let's mat the sides of this as well. Love these lemons. Oh my gosh, I love this paper. Look how pretty that paper is, y'all. Isn't that so pretty? All right, now let's get this piece put into our lid. And this one's going to be a little bit trickier. I recommend using wet glue for this because this is very tight in there, but I want it to be tight because I don't want it to fall out or move. This is actually a newer version um, from the old one that I did. Now if you just have to like move your pieces, like move it in here and then just like squeeze it in there, your little ends, it'll go in, I'm telling you. Just push it all the way down to the bottom and it fits in there very tight. And the glue is just extra to hold it in place. Let's see how it, it works. It's really, really nice. Nice and tight. And then this one just goes back on like that. So now we're time to decorate it. So let's get our happy birthday sentiment. We're going to add some dimensionals. I'm sorry about my voice, y'all. It does this all day long. I am, it's allergies, it's allergies. I just have allergies year round and I gotta deal with it. So I love that happy birthday on there. Isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. Now let's grab our other little pieces. And I'm gonna add this leaf on the bottom. Don't cover up your sentiment, of course, so just put it however you like it. And then the smaller leaf's going to go on the top. I'm going to actually put my flowers... Oh, I, what did I tell you? I'd forget to run these through, so I'm going to do that real quick, and I'll be right back with those. Okay, there they are, ready to go. All right, so I'm going to put first a dimensional on this larger one. We're going to set the flower down first, so then we can add the leaf underneath it. I'm going to put the flower up here. Let's turn that a little bit. And then this leaf. It's going to go up here. And then I'm going to put this other flower. I'm going to need a mini for this one. That one's going to go down here. And then we're going to put these little flowers. We're adding these tiny flowers under here. I'm going to put one over on this side. This is the fun part, y'all. And then this little tiny one I'm going to just stick over here. This is a great time to use your take your pick tool, y'all. <laughs> I am really bad about bringing that up here. All right, so there we go. There's the happy birthday one all ready to go. I hope you like this project, y'all. It's so fun to do. And then this one's the year the best kind of person. So this is such an uplifting one, and I needed one like that for a friend. So, yeah. But now I got a happy birthday one as well. <laughs> All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. If you need any supplies, you can shop on my blog at stampingwithamore.com. This is the June host code. If you place an order, I'd appreciate you using it. 
And yeah, thank you for sticking around. <laughs> Have a blessed day, everyone. I'll catch you in the next video. See you later. Bye.